open it, it's really crucial that you store it properly to ensure that you get the best taste out of the coffee for the rest of the time that you do have it. So when you get your coffee and you're ready to store it, you're going to want to remember the four variables that are actually going to affect the coffee after you store it over a longer period of time. So those four variables are moisture, air, heat, and light. Here we have two bags of coffee that you would you know, typically buy. We have our whole latte love Malabar Gold and we do have the Paradise Espresso. Now you'll notice a little bit different in the actual bagging of the two, but uh, important feature that they do have in common is they have this one-way valve. You can actually see it through the clear part of the, the bag here. And what this does is after the coffee is roasted, it's going to let off gases as it's in the bag. And what this does actually allows the gases to escape out this hole right here, but it doesn't allow air to come in. So it's going to make sure that your coffee stays fresh while it's in there. It is important to know that when you do open a bag of beans, such as, you know, you get your bag, open them up, and actually break the seal, they're only going to last uh, for a limited time, you know, a week, 10 days, maybe a little bit more depending um, for the best quality. I mean, you can still use them after that, just the original taste quality is not going to be there as it would with a freshly opened bag of beans. At our site, we have actually have several devices that you can use to store your coffee. These do a really good job of protecting from all those elements. The first item we have is the coffee vac. Now what this does is actually a container you can keep your coffee beans in. This is nice because it is dark and it doesn't allow light to get in and affect the beans. Also, it has a valve in it, similar to the one-way valve you see in the coffee bag. And what this does is when you put it on, if you don't press the button which opens the valve, you can't get it on. And that's because you press the button, push it down, and actually it pushes the air out. So you're not going to have uh, a lot of excess air in here that's going to make your beans go stale. Now. This is also good because it's not going to allow moisture in with your beans either. And then if you store it in a proper place where there's not a lot of excessive heat, your beans should stay fresh for the longest time possible. Now the next item we have actually is the vacuum in. And this is actually a really unique product because it has a pump. And the pump actually removes all the air from the container. So you notice that it is tinted to help prevent light from ruining the beans. And what you do is simply open it up. We can use our Malabar Gold and pour it in here. <clears throat> then put the top on, take your pump, and on the front there's actually a, a fitting which draws the air out. And you actually just set that there, pump it up. And you'll feel it start to get harder as you do pump it. And it's going to get to the point where it gets pretty, gets pretty hard. You can actually you know, lift the whole thing off because the suction is so great. And what this does is now it removed all the air from in the container. It's not going to let any air in. Um, nice thing too is you can't open it because all the suction in there with the air removed is so great. And if you want to get into it, what you'll do is there's this piece in the middle. You just pull it over. And you actually hear the air go back into the container and then you can remove the top and access your beans. Now remember, if you have any questions about how to store coffee or you know, what is going to affect the overall taste and quality of your coffee, feel free to give us a call. Um, once again, this is the Vacuvin and this is the Coffee Vac. So two great ways of storing your coffee and to make sure that you do get the freshest coffee every 